I'm really excited for 2023 as well. Okay. <laughs>
break. This was one of my main focuses because I always feel like I need to be going, going, going. And I think this year I really did learn how to take rest and let myself rest when I really needed it because I realized how much it actually helped after I rested. And then I would be so energized after and get so much more done and I'd be so much more productive when I just let myself rest. So definitely learned that this year. I had a picture of me in an outfit that wasn't something that I would always wear or be comfortable in. And that's because I wanted that to be a focus, just wearing new clothes. That's something that's been really fun on my weight loss journey is just finding the clothes that I've always wanted to wear and being comfortable in them. And I really do think I was successful with that in 2022. So I'm glad I had that on there. This picture always made me happy when I saw it because it just reminded me to kind of dress up every once in a while. I feel like I'm always in sweats or shorts and a tank top. So that was a nice reminder. I have get outside hiking boots and Devil's Lake all to remind me to hike more, get outside, just go on more like quick trips like that. And we did do that and I would say we hiked a good amount, but also I think we could do more and I would enjoy doing it more. I'm always so happy after we get back and it's just something that always feels like it's such a big deal to like get packed up, go hike for the day. We like to go to places that are kind of a far drive and so it's almost like an all day thing. So it's not always easy to just plan them, but it is something that I really do enjoy. I put my skates because I just love skating. It's something that makes me happy. Same with the dogs. I just wanted to remember to spend more time with them and I don't know, it's something that makes me happy. And that's part of this vision board too, is just looking at it and kind of, I don't know, feeling happiness from it and feeling motivation because my dogs motivate me, skating does, wearing outfits like this, it makes me feel good. So just little things like that. And you can do your vision board completely different than I do mine. This is just what personally works best for me. And then I just put a piggy bank and organization containers because I really wanted to focus on that, which I think I did a really good job of randomly like picking cleaning projects or organization projects and doing them. I probably did like one every month or something and I feel so much better after I do them. So I wanna keep doing more of that, of just organizing and getting things under control. And then money was just to focus on saving money, which I also did work on. Nothing like specific. I don't have any like money saving plan or anything, but that was just kind of a little reminder. So I think my vision board was successful this past year. I'm happy with it. And I was excited to make one for 2023. So let me show you guys my vision board for this year. So like I said, super simple. I just go on Google, I go on Pinterest, I find quotes that are gonna motivate me, that I really want to be my focus this year, that I want to be reminders. So every time I come upstairs and I see my vision board, I'm reminded of what it says. And sometimes I don't even like physically read it, but just like skimming over it with my eyes, like you're still, manifesting it, it's still in your vision and it is helpful. And so that's what I do, I find quotes, I find pictures. I like to use my own pictures. I know a lot of times people will cut out of magazines. You could totally do that. Sometimes I search stock images. You could also do that. Um, but I find it makes me really happy when I have my own pictures on there, like the dogs last year. It really made me happy to just see that every day and like motivate me. Here's my vision board for this year. My word this year I picked is challenge because I really want to challenge myself. I really want to keep pushing out of my comfort zone, do things that I've never done before. And I just want this year to be a challenge. I really want to push myself all while having balance and incorporating rest, but I really do want to push myself to see where I can go. So actually before I go into my vision board, I'm just going to quickly tell my five goals for the year. And I'm hoping that I can achieve them by the end of 2023. So my first one is is already kind of simple, not simple, definitely not simple, but I've gotten a very, very good start on it and I'm actually almost done with it. There's still a lot that has to go into it, but it is completing my cookbook, which is unbelievable. I can't even believe I'm saying my cookbook because I'm going to have a physical cookbook, which is like my dream since I was in third grade. But I have gotten pretty much all of the recipes typed out. I've gotten all of the pictures. I think I have like four more that I have to do. And then it is just finalizing everything and figuring out how I'm gonna do like points and calories and then getting it ready to sell. So I really don't have that much left with it. And my goal for 2023 is to get that completed and out and I'm so excited. I wanna be able to do giveaways with it. I wanna be able to do a meetup where we can have them for sale there even. Like I'm just so excited about it. I'm so proud of how it's looking so far and I know that I'm gonna be even more when it's completely done. So that is my first goal. I'm going to achieve it this year. I'm going to get it done and I'm hoping to have it done by the end of this month. 
My next goal that I set for myself is to read 25 books, which sounds crazy when I didn't read at all last year until the last month. I started reading some thriller books and I realized that in the past I was trying to just like read books that just didn't keep me interested and I would fall asleep every time. I just couldn't stick to finishing them. And then I started reading books by Frida McFadden, I think, or McFadden, I don't know exactly how to say her name, but she has some like horror kind of thriller suspense books. And I have already finished three of them this past month which is not normal for me. I know hers are pretty quick reads, but it's really motivated me to start reading more and use that as a thing to kind of just relax and decompress and disconnect from everything. It really has been like, it's been so good. And I didn't expect it because like reading is something I've always kind of struggled to stick to, but these books, I don't want to put them down. And I just, I love it. I don't know. I just really have enjoyed reading books that I actually am interested in. So I think a big part of it was just, I was picking the wrong books. And so for this upcoming year, I am going to try to read 25 books. I've already started the first one because I finished one last night actually on New Year's Eve. So there are books I read by her, just in case anyone's wondering. I read Never Lie, The Housemaid, and The Locked Door. All of them were so good. I think The Housemaid might have been my favorite so far, but I just finished up The Locked Door, and now my first book that I'm starting this year is by Frida as well, and it is The Inmate. So I'm going to be reading that, and then I have a whole list of other books that I have ready to read that are actually interesting to me, not nonfiction, which there's nothing wrong with reading nonfiction, and I'm still going to, but I just... I found that I needed to find books that were actually interesting to me. And I really wanna just keep reading as a thing to get my mind off things, improve my vocabulary and reading in general. Uh, I just feel better overall when I read more. Yeah, so that's my second goal. My third goal is to hit 100,000 subs on YouTube, which is insane that I'm even saying that. When you hit 100,000, you actually get a plaque, which is just like the craziest thing. I remember being in high school and thinking about that. Like I, I just, I never expected to be doing what I'm doing and it makes me so happy. And so if we can just continue to grow this community and I can continue to expand my reach with all of my content, that'll just allow me to keep doing it. And I don't know, I'm just really excited for the new year. I really have some ideas in mind for videos and I'm really excited about it. So hitting 100,000, would be a huge milestone. I just, I still can't even believe that I'm where I'm at with almost 70,000. And so in a year, I'm hoping to get another 30,000 subs, which I did it last year. So I'm hoping to do it again this year. My next goal is something that used to make me so angry, which sounds so weird, but something that Trevor would always say is like that he thought I could do a pull-up and I would tell him like over and over, I cannot do a pull-up. I've never been able to do one in my life. It's something I've never cared to do. It just like frustrated me because even in high school and like middle school, we'd have to do like the presidential fitness test. And then you had to get up and show that you couldn't do a pull-up in front of everyone. And like, there were some people who could, but most people just couldn't. And ever since then, I've just hated pull-ups because it was like an embarrassing thing. I just never thought it was possible for me. I feel like I'm bigger being six foot tall and it's a lot to have to pull up, but I think it is something that I can do. I recently this past month kind of started training it and I really think that I can get at least one by the end of the year. So I'm hoping to get one of each. So a chin up is when you have your hands like this, it works more of your biceps. And then a pull up is where you have like a wide grip like this and it works more of your back. I'm hoping to be able to do one of each. And I've just been training at Planet Fitness with bands. They have a pull up machine there and I'm just gonna continue to make my back and biceps kind of a focus so that I can do that because that would be unbelievable. I don't, that's like one thing I just never, I just like already like knocked it out of my head. I'm never gonna be able to do it. And I've been feeling really confident about it. And like, I can stay consistent training for it and be able to do it by the end of this year. So that's one of my goals. Then my last goal for 2023 is to set up a follower meetup. So like I said, I kind of want to finish my cookbook and have that so I can have it available. But also I'm just so excited to meet more of you guys in person. I've gotten to meet a few of people around my town just randomly at store stores and stuff like that, but I think it would be incredible for us to get to meet a bunch of people that have been following our journey, that have been sharing their journeys with us, and I just think that that needs to be a priority this next year. So I'm going to set up maybe even more than one. I'm hoping we can get it figured out and kind of see. I don't really know exactly what I want to do, but I just know I want to find a way to meet up with people. So that is my last goal for 2023, and I'm feeling very excited for the new year. Anyway, though, moving on to my vision board, it kind of incorporates a lot of that stuff. Um, I don't like 
specifically write my goals on here, but you'll see a lot of them kind of are reminders or just like motivating things to help me with my goal. So like I said, word of the year is challenge. Up here, I've got a YouTube plaque. So this is what the plaque looks like when you hit 100,000 subs. So I have Nikki Gets Fit, 100,000 subscribers. That is a goal of mine. That's something that I like making this, I couldn't stop smiling. So having it on my wall, every time I see this, it's gonna make me really happy. I have this as a cookbook kind of reminder. I just found some little stock image that will be like a reminder about my cookbook and just motivate me to continue creating recipes and just pursuing my passion with cooking. Then I have this quote over here and it says, if you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer is no. If you don't step forward, you're always in the same place. And so that again goes along with the whole challenge, pushing myself and just kind of stepping out of my comfort zone and not being afraid to ask for things or to do things that in the past I thought weren't possible for me because I've already proven to myself now so many things that I thought I couldn't do or I was never going to do and I did them this last year or the past two years. So that's just my reminder to kind of keep pushing and remember that I have to make an effort to kind of make a change and to progress. I put this on here. This is from the WW shoot. This picture just makes me really happy, so I wanted to include it. Um, I love that I'm holding my skates. I honestly never imagined that something like going to New York and having a photo shoot would be possible for me. So this picture just kind of reminds me that I can do anything. And when I see this, it'll make me happy. I have my dogs because of course they make me happy. I want to remember to spend time with them. I like seeing them. And then there was SpongeBob in the back. So I had to just keep that in. That makes me happy too. Then I have this quote, growth and comfort do not coexist. So again, with the whole growth and pushing out of my comfort zone, that's pretty much the whole theme for all the quotes and everything this year. I have this right front and center because this is something I really really want to work on this year. And that is that you can't make everybody happy. And that is something that I'm still learning. I'm still working through because it isn't easy, especially like putting myself out there and stuff. I obviously don't want people to say mean things to me. I don't want people to not like what I'm doing. And you just can't make everyone happy. And I have to remember that because there are so many, even just like petty comments that I get or petty messages that I let stick with me. And there is no need for that because it's out of my control. I can't do anything to make them happy. And so you just need to not like stress too much about what's out of your control. I have this picture of Adam, Trevor and I, this was when we went to apple picking and the corn maze. And this is just, I love this picture. First of all, it just makes me happy because we're just goofing off and having fun. And one thing we did this year, actually a lot of things we did this year were some things that we've never done. So apple picking, we went zip lining for the first time. I went to the art museum for the first time, like just random things that I've never done before. And this picture, I kind of want it to be a reminder to just keep doing those fun things because it really has been so life-changing. And even if it's just like the smallest thing, it's a memory and it means a lot to me. And I don't know, it's just a reminder to get out and do things. Down here I have don't limit your challenges, challenge your limits. Again, about pushing myself and challenging myself to do new things and step out of my comfort zone. Down here, I have a beautiful garden stock image I found. This is just because my garden is gonna be a big priority this year for me. I wanna expand it even more than what it was last year because it was just such a successful year and it was such a fun and fulfilling thing that I never thought I would enjoy. And I'm looking to like double the produce that I got this next year. So that's gonna be a big priority of mine. That just makes me happy seeing a garden on here and remembering that I'll have that in the summer. I've got a picture of me trying to do a pull-up so that's just kind of my reminder with the pull-up goal and also just pushing myself one thing that I'm really self-conscious about is my back and I've really made it a priority I'd say for the second half of this year at the gym to focus on my back workouts and in this picture you can kind of actually see some definition that I've never had in my life so seeing that's going to just motivate the heck out of me when I see this picture even right now it's just like I can't even believe that's a picture of me I feel so strong looking at it and it just makes me happy and really motivates me down here I have my Nikki gets fit 100k subs just I've done this on both of my vision boards my first one I want to say I had 5,000 is the goal and then that was the year I hit 30,000 and then last year was 60,000 so now I'm going for a hundred thousand then I have just a stock image of some books again a reminder of my goal to read I have this that says the secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine and that's just kind of a quote to remind me about consistency and that even if it seems like nothing's changing or I'm not making progress when I'm still putting in the steps and the effort every single day there's still something growing and I'm still making progress even if I can't see it so in my daily routine 
all the progress is kind of hidden and it, it ends up being so much when you look at it over a long period of time, even if for a short period of time, it doesn't seem like much. I have a bowl. I always just like to include some type of bowl or food item that I've made because it makes me happy and it makes me inspired to create other recipes and stuff. Then this I put here because I want to continue with like kitchen and just house organization. So I always include something like that. That always just makes me happy to see like a really organized pantry like this. So I put that to kind of motivate me and give me some inspiration. And then the last quote I have is, if it's out of your hands, it deserves freedom from your mind too. So again, remembering that certain things I just can't control. And if I just sit there and dwell on them, it's just gonna like take over and really just like ruin my day or ruin whatever I'm thinking about. And I can't control it. So there's nothing I can do. I'm just wasting my energy. I should focus my energy on something that's gonna make me happier or fix the situation, stuff like that. So anyway. That is my final vision board. I'm excited to hang this up. Like I said, it's nothing crazy. It looks like a school project, honestly, but it makes me happy to have it on my wall. It's something that motivates me. And at the end of the year, it's nice to kind of look back and see what were my strengths and weaknesses for the year. And I'm looking forward to a really good year. So if you guys do make a vision board, share them with me. I'd love to see them even like on Instagram or something, send me a picture. But if you do this, I want to hear about it. It really does help me. This is my third one I've done. And I don't know, it's just something that really works well for me on my journey. So anyway, I'd love to hear your guys' goals for 2023 as well. Like I said, share your vision boards if you do create them and let's have a good year. I'm super excited. Like I said, a lot of it does have to do with my YouTube channel this year. I really, really want to make it a focus. Of course, my cookie business is still a priority and I'm going to continue with orders all year. I do have to have balance with that, but I really do want to make YouTube a priority as well, like I have been. So Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time.